Okay, uh, David, uh, while you're here, we decided we were going to get to the minutes first. And uh, then we will uh, discuss the uh, uh, account for the peer review for uh, for IDB. We were doing that. Hopefully, you were going to show up then, so you could get involved with that discussion. But uh, okay, the, we'll uh, discuss the minutes of uh, December seventeenth, two thousand fifteen. Does anybody have any comments on that particular one? Uh, I had a couple here, Kim, I would review with you on the first page, mm -hmm. second paragraph. Uh, I think we should say instead of Mr. Latham, Attorney Brad Latham. And the last sentence of that paragraph where it goes in, Mr. Latham listed, mm -hmm. I thought we should insert and gave arguments for the four criteria required for a variance. Delete what he thought. Okay. Take that out, what he thought were. Okay. Now, he gave arguments for the four criteria required. Okay. And is Glenn's title code enforcement officer, I believe? Um. Mr. Redmond is the code enforcement officer. Okay. And it's uh, rather than the zoning enforcement officer, code okay. enforcement, I think okay. it is. And er, yeah. Okay. And Mr. Jarima's paragraph. I don't remember. I don't <laughs> yeah, I just had that circle. I don't remember making a comment. About yeah, well, that's what I mean. I'm mad. Rather than there were banks on Haven Street that he felt would require additional signage. He didn't. Right. You know, he doesn't know that they're going to require. He right. he okay. thought they would if. They do so. I thought he, he could put that in, and uh, never noticed. Yeah, and uh, again, uh, second paragraph, uh, case fifteen thirteen, or excuse me, second page, case fifteen thirteen. Mr. Redfin. Yes. Met, read Mr. Redman's comments. Mr. Redman is the code enforcement officer. And. Let's see. The minutes. <coughs> oh, in uh, the last paragraph of of that page, two, uh, second sentence, Ms. Russo said the number of rooms in each unit will remain as is. If you can insert as is, uh, only the square footage will change. That's okay. okay. And I think that's all I on the, oh. on the last page. Yeah. In the paragraph that starts off on a motion by Mr. Hagstrom. Yeah. The second line up from the bottom reading should be capitalized. Okay, right. I missed that. And I had uh, under the special permit is conditioned on the following. Then you have three three conditions and then under the, that you had Mr. Jarema suggested adding a finding to the motion. Uh, but I think we should take that whole sentence out. I, there is no finding that we added to that. So that's all I had on that for December. The only one I had was you got to learn how to spell size name. <laughs> I do, I know, I okay. Okay. And uh, Kim on the uh, first page, I don't remember questioning the the, uh, the car sign being altered for adding lights. Can't add lights with yeah, so concrete, so. Okay. You just say take it out. Okay. Okay. That we accept the minutes of December 17, 2015, as amended. Second. Motion made, seconded. All those in favor? Okay, passed. The seven, 17th minutes are accepted as amended. Okay, we have January 7th. Again, I will go here. Uh, first page, Kim. 
about uh, the middle of the page. Mr. Redfern read the memo submitted by Glenn Redman, mm -hmm. code enforcement officer. Yeah. And last sentence or last paragraph, Mrs. Tomey confirmed after construction the existing three bedrooms will be converted to a large bedroom with an office. And just a clarification on the second page, the fourth sentence down, Mr. Jerima suggested eliminating the platform at the side stairs as opposed to yep. the front stairs. Yep. I want to put words in your mouth. Okay. Uh, and then. Ms. Twomey asked that the variance request to be withdrawn, and this would include the proposed garage, proposed in front of garage, and the four by four platform at the side stairs to the dwelling. That clarifies it. Uh, on the middle paragraph there on a motion, uh, second sentence, move to approve the request for a withdrawal without prejudice. Can we assert that without prejudice after the withdrawal? Relating to the variance, take out in the third sentence A and replace it with the variance request. Insert request after variance. And I think that's it for me, anyway. Anybody else has any comments? Down at the bottom of that page, Mr. Jarima withdrew the second on the motion, second of the motion. The second of the motion. Okay. No further comments on that. Motion to approve the minutes of January 7, 2016, as amended. Second. I have a second. Uh, all those in favor of uh, approving or the motion, raise your hand. Thank you. Minutes of January 7th approved as amended. the minutes of February 4th, 2016. Uh, I read through them myself and didn't have a comment when I read through them. Petitioner's name is noted as Zucker. Uh, I checked it with Zucker without the C. Okay, is it? Uh, but is it from Petitioner? Yeah, we have um, Mr. Matthew Seconder. Oh, okay, so what is it? I think it's Zucker. Z U K E R. Okay. You uh, could Zucker. check on that, Kim. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I will check on that. Double, double check. Zucker. He signed as, so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey, thank you, Eric. Come on. Out. Halfway down, uh, uh, Miss Hackett, uh, mass housing should be a separation between mass and housing. Look at it, Dave. Who's that? 
I'm sorry, where was that? Space. Um, what page? Halfway down. On the second page? Second page. Yeah. Wait a second. I'm looking. Is it the second page? Must be third page. Third page. Third page. Third page. Yeah. Ah, yes, yes. Okay. And you got a Mr. Zucker there again on the third yeah. page, yeah. I see. Okay. And where's Mass Housing? Uh, uh, where Miss Hackett is? Halfway in this. Oh, house. okay. Mass Housing. Yeah. Two Just a space in there. Might as well change it up above to uh, mm -hmm. where I come in. How'd you keep straight all the people who were standing <laughs> <laughs> with their addresses and everything else yeah. because of the sign in? I only do one piece to it and then I Google it when I get back to my oh, desk. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, you did well, well. Just in the future, not with as it relates to the minutes, but there were um, it was a quorum of the CPDC there. Okay. Three out of the five was members. It? Yeah. And we ought to make sure that um, they call the meeting to order. There are other groups in the room, other committees or boards in the, in the room in the next hearings, just so that nobody squawks about the public meeting law or anything like that related to these meetings. Okay, yeah, yeah. I happened to uh, stop today and saw both uh, Julie and Jean and mm -hmm. mentioned that, and she said that they had posted. She had posted that they were going to be there. At that meeting. At that meeting. Okay. So it was posted by planning. I did, I, you know, I, we, we I'm can, not going to check. Does that mean that you don't have to call the meeting to order? It's posted? That's a good question. I don't know. Uh, anyway, we, we, we can discuss that after, after the yeah. minutes uh, and, and after we discuss the other one. It's something that I had mentioned to Sai earlier because I'm going to bring it up on the upcoming selectmen's meeting next week of our board. It's going to be there. So. Okay, uh, I would accept a motion on the February 4th minutes. Motion to approve the meeting minutes of February 4th, 2016. As amended. As amended. Seconded. Seconded by Mr. Jarima. All those in favor? Okay, thank you. Approved. Okay. Next item we have is discussion. And adoption by the board of the regulations required to open up uh, regulations and procedures required by a uh, municipal, by Reading, or by the town to open up a uh, municipal account, special municipal account for consultant review fees or peer review. Uh, that we're going to have for the uh, 40B uh, at uh, Reading Village uh, on that. And I think you see with us tonight the printout on the uh, basically uh, the Mass General Law Chapter 44, subsections 53G, which are those regulations uh, required for the uh, town to open up an account on that. Uh, if there's any discussions, We'll be glad to discuss it. If not, we could uh, go ahead and have a motion to uh, accept these regulations in order to, regulations and procedures in order to open up an account for peer review. The reason I stopped down today is because when I went through it, <coughs> mm -hmm. I had some questions and I wanted to find out what either Jean or Julie thought about it. And um, in essence, 
we already gave them permission to go out there and recruit or at least to yes. post, but not to sign anybody up. The reality is that according to this, the board has to vote to put that person on. Um, the okay. staff cannot. Okay. Um, but what Julie said that she was looking for from us this evening was to accept this as the state uh, guidelines for adopting right. a account to be set up that we would follow. Mm -hmm. So these are what the state apparently offers and um, what Julie and Jean and the state had put together. Right. She because wants us to accept this as a procedural method of doing things. But what it comes down to when you look at it is that the board has got to, um, in essence, approve or um, actually take a vote on it um, to allow that particular consultant or consultants for, um, yeah. to be brought on at whatever the, the going rate is. Right. Uh, so it's the board's responsibility to authorize the hiring or retention of a consultant based upon the town's recommendation. Yeah, well, yes. I asked that the two questions, that the, the two things that I asked at times, what's the responsibility of the board in this process and what's the liability on the board in this particular situation? Because I've been, in my past, uh, been very concerned about liabilities. Mm -hmm. So um, if we're giving it all up to the town, is that what this, the, the, the daytime staff? She said no. This is the procedure we have followed, but if you look at section three and you go down to section four of it, it says that the board is responsible for hiring, even though we right, gave that permission for right. the town or for the staff to go out there and recruit and make a suggestion to the board. Right. And then the same thing with the, the number of consultants that may or may not be needed. Um, and uh, if there is uh, again, toward the end of it, if there's money to be returned at the end, the board authorizes the town to, to give back, and if it needs more, then we have to authorize it to come over there. All right. So the way, I, the way I understand it is that the board will be presented with a options or the town's recommended uh, I don't. I, I didn't ask that question. If they're going to recommend one person, or they're going to, or um, going to offer us a, a couple of and make a suggestion on what they have found. Okay, and then based upon, and and my guess is, again the way I've seen it work is, they uh, receive some sort of an RFP or an estimate as to what that might cost, and then the board authorizes the town to request of the applicant. A deposit Correct. amount or yep. funds to go into the account to compensate those peer review consultants based upon mm -hmm. the selections that we yeah. make from the options presented yeah. to us within the 10 day period that they say do in section four. Yeah. All right, those are certain, yeah, yeah. Now, now at the last meeting, we did take a vote, and David. I believe you made the motion on that, and we voted five five zero zero to authorize the town to open up an account for a peer review. Right. So but from what, what I understood, and that's essentially what I think this is, these rules and regulations are, but essentially what I gather is it has to be on an agenda, or, you know, to do that too. Has well, to, it has to be part of the meeting. has to be part mm -hmm. of a, well, it was part of the meeting the last time, but it wasn't on the agenda. Mm -hmm. This is on the agenda tonight, so now it can be officially recorded. Right. The, the motion yeah. that was made was to authorize town staff to begin the process, process. of yeah. soliciting consultants and securing right. consultants. Right. And we, we went through the specific areas right. that we wanted to see consultants Stop in. That. So <laughs> this tonight would authorize the opening of the account. Then once they get to the right. selection of consultants, they bring it yeah. back to the yeah. board. We vote on hiring. Yeah. And then presumably at that point, uh, come up with an amount that somebody will suggest to us yeah. sufficient for the applicant to deposit in that account to cover or maybe more than cover sure. 
um, any anticipated fees that we expect mm -hmm. the consultant to charge. Mm -hmm. Yep. The so word that bothered me in this write-up is in that section three was the word selection. Mm -hmm. Who who does the selecting well, of I, the consultant? I think this says we do. Well, that's who why determines <laughs> whether a consultant is needed in a specific area. The two re the two terms again I use is responsibility and liability. So we're taking from David's motion. Right. Uh, they're going to give us. Um, Consultants that they, they will, have they will reviewed give us some candidates and and gotten some I would assume some um, Estimates of what the cost would be mm. make a recommendation to the board the board then votes on that Based upon what what they well, we've already right. made the motion on right. so in terms of selection It's what is recommended back to us, but the the responsibility is on one side and the liability is on the other side. Not that it's ever going to come back on the yeah. board, but um, who yeah, knows what mass housing is doing these days. Mm. Well, I mean, I, you know, I guess we also ought to get a little bit of feedback from daytime government on, you know, is this an RFP process that they're, that they, are they putting these consultancies out to bid or are they actively going out and saying, hey, you're a, engineering consultant we'd like to hire you to be our peer review consultant and they already have uh, some folks in mind um, it's an interesting question uh, because there are a lot of engineering consultants out there yeah yeah how do you pick them well so, I, sole source well, I, from I, what I, I understood today from talking to them is that they're going out there like on an RFP situation here's the parameters that the town is going to or the, the daytime staff is concerned about um, and this is what they they need for peer review. Uh, are you interested? Uh, look it over. Give us an R. Give us a, an estimate of what you can and can't do, and then that's going to come back right. to the board right. uh, with recommendations. I think from the staff. Yeah. So it's it's like a combination of the two. We're not actually going out there and recruiting. No, I agree with that. I understand that. And, and, that is and our job. I, I would believe they would uh, probably go to a firm that's uh, a general engineering consultant that could handle stormwater, sewage, water, site designs, traffic, etc. Uh, on that, I yeah, would think. It might be one consultant. That, that, might be one consultant. Might be suitable for all. Right. Of it areas. may not. You know, may it not may be. not be. It, a lot thing of times, that me traffic still, though, is a specialty. Sometimes, so I somewhere. ask about yeah. I ask about that today, and uh, they could not find another person. But um, the individual who was our liaison, not our mm -hmm. town council liaison, yes, the other individual I can't remember his name. He was now, the mass Haverty. housing. Was it Paul Haverty? Yes, Paul Haverty. Haverty. Yes. Um, apparently, he is not continuing on. From what I found out today, really? so yeah, uh, they're going to go with uh, town councils. I know he was concerned that we had the meeting scheduled for March 17th. So. Well, whatever. <laughs> I didn't. Go, I didn't go into. I didn't go into. I didn't know. I didn't know it was a deal I didn't. Him, <laughs> I didn't go into it. But hey, the suggestion. <laughs> yeah. But the suggestion was made that he had some. Um, Recommendations for some larger firms on yeah. traffic yeah. that they were going to look into because nobody else around. Oh, there's there's many for. I mean, I, I could name two or three firms that could handle every, every item on it that we're looking at. It used to be Vanessa Hagen. I think it's well, they they're on their side now, yeah. Vanessa for traffic. Mm -hmm. But there's other there's other yeah. firms out there. So, but uh, yeah, basically that. And then the other thing in regards to that, and I'll make note, I know I came down one day and discussed it with uh, uh, Jean and Julie, uh, and they were putting together an application to the state for a grant for peer reviews. And from what I understand, they, they're uh, uh, hopeful of getting a grant from the state in regards to peer review for this to pay for, for a lot of it. And, you know, I, I don't. I'm going to leave it up to daytime government, as David says, mm -hmm. to handle the finances in regards to how this is all going to work. But we'll go from there. But I think you're right, John. That uh, reading that, we will eventually have to 
do Authorized. a formal review Vote and, and, and approval mm -hmm. uh, of the uh, peer review consultants on this here. And maybe we'll get a bit of an update on that at the selectmen's meeting? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Um, so maybe they'll have some updates on that when they present to the select. Well, that's a joint meeting of the selectmen and CPDC. Yes. Coming up. That's, on that's what I understand. Yeah. yeah. It's at Parker Middle School, too. Yes. Expecting some crowds. And if <clears throat> I think David uh, brought up a good point too, that if um, there were going to be more than three of us going to that, just to sit in the back, uh, we would have a quorum. So we may maybe in the best I best will, of both I worlds will, request after we, after we go through this. I will, I have that on in oh, my okay. mind to discuss that. Okay. Yeah. I plan, I plan to be there. So, okay. Uh, if uh, we're through with discussions on this, then I, I guess I would need a motion to uh, accept these regulations and procedures uh, in order to, uh, or a motion to adopt these regulations and procedures in order to open up a, uh, an account by the town, a special account for peer review uh, for Reading Village. Well said, can I repeat that? <laughs> Absolutely, you can say so moved. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll move that the board adopt uh, the regulations promulgated by General Laws Chapter 44, Section 53G for the opening, maintenance, and handling of a special municipal account for consultant review fees related to this 40B application. Reading Village, quote, Reading Village, yeah, okay. 40B. Mm -hmm. Reading Village. Mm -hmm. I'll second that. Okay. Motion made, seconded. Further discussion? No further discussion. All those in favor? Five, six, zero, zero. Thank you. Okay. Uh, hopefully, I think that's all they would need, Kim, or start the ball rolling. And the other issue, or uh, the other thing is what we just discussed there now. Uh, they were asking me for if I knew what the attendance was going to be at the uh, uh, upcoming Board of Selectmen CPDC meeting on Tuesday at Parker Middle School, it will be. And I told them I had planned to be there. I know I had run into Cy earlier this week, and he said he planned to be there. I think David and I went emailing back and forth earlier, and we had noted yep. each of us would be there. there. So I'm looking now if there's going to be anybody else right there. There's three people, so there's I a probably, quorum. I John probably says will he is going to be there. Happens. I will not be there. You will not be there, Eric. I may come late. You may come late, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, poor. <laughs> poor, poor. We get four right here now, for sure. So that that right there, as you said, presents a quorum of the zoning board. Now, from what I understood, as you you mentioned, David, they were going to post that as concurrent, you know, as the zoning board members being at the meeting, and that was going to be posted. So, whether that suffices in regards to having a quorum there of a board we don't have to open it up as a meeting or whatever but I know I don't plan on discussing it with uh, other members during that night so you know incognizant you know being cognizant that you you really shouldn't be discussing it mm -hmm. outside I think outside of our uh, I uh, think the board's mere presence as a quorum qualifies for having to call a call a meeting of the board mm -hmm. whether we say a word or not mm -hmm. the fact that we're present when something's being discussed as a quorum of the board could be construed under the public meeting mm -hmm. law as having a meeting yeah. just because we're there listening to it okay we uh, can, we can. and I've seen it happen at, at many other different sure. boards and committee meetings open it and then when they when we leave or when we lose a quorum somebody gets one of us gets up and leaves you know and we have to have an adjournment then yeah motion you know motion you know yeah. motion to adjourn yeah. 
you know, second. And but then Kathy out. walks in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, we'll have, we'll have a, a, a revolving door. Well, if, yeah, if, exactly. if, if, <laughs> Kim, could, could you ask? I already emailed Jean, Jean on Julie that. And okay. And, and, Julie, and, and they may have to make a quick call to town council. And just yeah. check, uh, you know, okay, are we up. meeting the laws or aren't we? Just okay. by posting it, if we're meeting the law, fine. If we have to actually open, open a meeting it. for yeah. the zoning board and then adjourn it at the end of it, so be it. Okay, we're fine. But, okay, thank you. So right now, for her enthusiasm, I plan it anyway. We'll see what happens. Well, so. when you, if you were to say something, any one of us were to say something, we just, uh, you have to, denote who you are oh yeah uh, but exactly. we're not speaking on behalf as a member of the board we're or speaking as a private citizen exactly that's what i that's say I, I think if, if you did, did decide to speak i think you should probably be definitive in that you're speaking as a private citizen mm -hmm. or a member of the board and, uh, I, but i think <laughs> that if you do have something to say that it would behoove us from a transparency standpoint to announce that we are a member of the, board. A member of the zoning board. Yeah. And then qualify that with, I'm saying, my comments yeah, and all that. Coming yeah. from the board. And, and be as a you know, we, we had this discussion, though, I don't, I don't think it even on five, that six five, years ago. Yeah. Uh, in regards to a board member wanting to act as a private citizen uh, and you do give up some rights, I think, as, as being on a board in regards to being able to get up and talk as a private citizen. In this particular case, it was a board member that had to recuse himself because he was an abutter to a case, and then he wanted to get up and comment on the case. <laughs> and I says, you, you, you really, oh, I'm doing it as a private citizen. You can't stop me. Says, I don't think you can do it. <laughs> well, eventually, safe, the, he wrote a letter. Yeah. That but the, it, safe, the yeah. safest but way to do it, anything. You've given up some rights. Exactly. You're a board member. You are. Yeah, but I mean, if up. you're going to get up and speak and you are a board member, the easiest thing to do is ask questions of, do not assert an opinion. Mm. The opinion, because it reflects back on you as a board member, yeah. a question is not, not in, a, in a direction. I think it's to give an opinion as you're still a board member even though you're exactly. speaking as a private citizen. Exactly. You're still a so. board member. Yep. Okay. The punch times was Don't have to say that for three because be there's three for three attorneys in the room. I mean <laughs> <laughs> we do. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, if there's no further discussions of anything, I would uh, tell you undertake a motion for adjournment. I move to adjourn the meeting. I'll second that. Second by Kathy. All those in favor? Okay. Thank you so much. Wow. Thanks everybody.